is it a good morning or not? I don't know. Welcome back to the farm. Today's video is going to be on this Farmall 55A. This is the one that was given to us. It was a brand new tractor given to us as a loaner while our other one is still torn apart. Um, apparently, I, I guess what I understand at this point is that CNH is not releasing the back ordered parts or some nonsense to fix mine. So I, I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, I just kind of would like my money back at this point. But I want to go over a couple things on this tractor. Um, like I said, this is the one that they brought that has my tires and loader on it. Um, we'll look at it quick here. You can see the air ride seat. But I want to show you. I'm not going to start it. But I want to show you. Oh, I guess it has my radio in it too. Uh, the hours that are on the, the tractor. Can you see that? 6.9. I think it had 4 point something on it when it arrived here. Um, so, I've had some issues with this tractor. Um, one of them is a PTO uh, issue and it might be completely me. I put this tractor on um, our tether. I was going to ted hay with it. And it seemed like it was spinning the tether way too fast, like it was in an economy PTO mode. Well, this tractor does not have economy PTO. So either there's something wrong with the PTO on this tractor, or it's there's just enough of a difference in the rated speed between my other tractors and this one, meaning this one reaches the 540, uh, 540 PTO RPM, at uh, 2000 engine RPM, where my other tractors I usually run it on don't reach that 540 till they're at 2200 engine RPM. So there's a little difference there. So I don't know if it's just me. I, I'm not completely saying there's something wrong with the PTO, but it doesn't seem quite normal. So they were going to check it, and um, yeah, they're not going to now. Um, I told them to take the tractor back. Uh, it has uh, the same emission issue that mine does, and maybe it's not an issue, but to me it's an issue. Um, my tractor, uh, just give you an example with this one. I'm going to show you a quick clip. It's not a great clip, uh, but I'm going to show you a quick clip of what this tractor did. Um, I had been hauling some hay wagons with it, fully loaded hay wagons, you know, running 17, 1800 RPM, going up the hill to the, the big tension fabric building up there. So the tractor was being worked. Um, so I, I pulled the hay wagon in the building and uh, it only idled long enough for me to get out of the tractor, pull the drawbar pin, walk around to this side of the tractor and get my phone out so that I could shove it at the exhaust, like show it at the exhaust. So I don't know, what is that? a minute two minutes tops and um it just idle for that little bit of time and you'll see in the clip it's not near as bad as what my tractor does but what happens is after it idles a few minutes and you go to increase your throttle the engine will sputter and it'll blow white and blue smoke um and as you get moving it'll clear up but it's not to me it's not normal for the engine to be sputtering like that and blowing smoke now this tractor does not have a DPF filter on it. Um, these were tractors that they put an EGR on and I guess that was enough for them to pass the emissions standard or whatever. Uh, but I, the system is flawed. So the clip you're about to see, again, it's not near as bad as what my tractor was doing, but it kind of gives you a, a rough idea. So here it is. So that was that was a brief clip. Um, again, not uh, debilitating stuff, but uh, I had called them and asked them to look at the uh, PTO shaft. They were just going to basically come down and um, 
check the PTO speed with like a little um, little tool that just checks. They put a little piece of tape, reflective tape on it. It just measures the RPM and makes sure that it was where it was supposed to be. So there was rain coming, so I parked the tractor in my garage here. So in case they came, uh, they wouldn't be coming when, you know, had to work outside or the tractor was all wet. So I was walking through there the other day and I noticed some puddles on the floor. Um, yeah, so after I noticed that, um, I went and came out to check this tractor. And sure enough, there's hydraulic oil leaks in the back. Um, you're going to have to bear with me. I don't want to shut the camera off. I'm going to keep this video rolling. Um, I'm going to go under the tractor and take you with me and I'll show you. I have pictures, but you can't see real good. I got a piece of cardboard because I don't feel like uh, laying on the stones here. So, yeah, just bear with me here. The camera's going to get kind of shaky. So, well, I guess you can see it pretty good today. We The tractor sat out in the rain. So... You can see the uh, rain water came down and mixed with the oil and made this white film. Uh, the film is all the way from here, um, runs all the way back, all the way back to here, over, up. This is all oil that I guess did not end up getting rain water on it. Um, I have no idea. It's coming from way up there, I guess. I don't... I don't really know where all this oil is coming from, but it's all over the place under here. Um, so, yeah. That's all oil. So, let me get out from underneath here. I'm pretty sure that's, I mean, it goes all the way back to here. It may just kind of run back there or come down and, you know, I don't know. I don't know if there's any other oil leaks besides that one or not. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not going to look the whole tractor over. Let me get out of here. Watch your heads. Ouch! That was the drawbar in my back. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Um, I had sent pictures to the one, one of the guys I was dealing with um, on Saturday. Today's Monday. And I, I let him know that um, the thing was leaking oil and I called the one service guy that I've been dealing with to this morning and I told him I said look this tractor's leaking hydraulic oil I said you may as well just come and get it I said I'm not running it this way um, you know I don't know what's leaking there it could just be something needs to be tightened it could be a seal I don't know my tractor has been in twice now for multiple hydraulic leaks and uh, I, that's part of what they're waiting for parts for. Some tube and seal or something. I don't know. But all I need to do is take that thing down the road and have a seal blow out while I'm going down the road. All the oil comes out and blows something up on me. And now am I going to be responsible for that? Because I'm supposed to be caring for this tractor. So I don't even want to get involved in it. So, yeah. So those issues are why they're coming to get this tractor. Uh, like I said, you know, I only put about two hours on it. What I have to do here this morning is these are my hydraulic lines here. I think I showed you those the other day. Um, they're not plugged in here, but they could plug right in and they go to the front. And they kind of create this uh, third function for the loader. Um, so I got to take those off. And I think my toolbox still has stuff in it and empty out. Um, whatever else might be in there, a couple of draw bar pins and things like that. So, uh, you know, one thing I thought of, I, I have not put any diesel fuel in this thing since it's been here. Um, and it's interesting that, I mean, off-road diesel is supposed to be the same as on-road diesel, but in case anybody says that the off-road diesel is causing the motor to not run as clean or blah, 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 here you go. This thing only has on-road diesel in it, and it was still making the same emissions noise. Now, it's not, as, it's not as bad as mine, but my tractor had more hours on it, too, so I don't know. But uh, anyway, I think that concludes this video. Maybe you guys are getting tired of seeing these. 
um, it's okay. I'm just kind of putting them out there because I'm warning people um, about these tractors, and I just, I really don't think that you should buy one. Um, I'm kind of hoping that uh, CNH will step up and resolve this issue with me. Basically, at this point, after seeing this one having a leak, and mine's had a bunch of leaks, and this one has the same sputtering thing with the emission stuff as mine does, um, and it's brand new. I basically want my money back on the other tractor. I don't even want another tractor. I'm not buying another new tractor from this company. I'm not buying another new anything from CNH. I just want my money back. And if they persist uh, and not wanting to work with me, um, you're going to see a few other videos um, come out. And uh, I'm going to have to ask you guys to share them. Um, we'll see if it comes to that. But So anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Um, questions comments down below the saga continues catch you on the next one hey don't forget the subscribe button too